So now I think it's time to add our background and draw our clothing here to complete the illustration. I'm going to come over to my layers panel, click on the image to trace, come to our menu there and click new layer and I'm going to call this background. Okay, make sure that's behind everything else. And I'm going to come over to my shape tool and I'm going to grab my rectangular tool and just draw a rectangular rectangular box underneath. And as you can see it's made it pink with the black stroke. Well, we don't want that. So I'm going to grab my color picker and select my yellow which I sourced earlier. Nicely done. Let's move that down a little bit. And already it's looking a lot more graphic now. So I'm going to toggle the visibility of that background layer so I can see my clothes. And we're going to come again to the layers panel and by clicking the menu we're going to create a new layer and call these clothing. Okay. And we can use our pen tool to start drawing the clothing. Soon you'll have the main outline of your clothing and then if we zoom in we can use the pen tool just to draw this neck area here, this black sort of silhouette on the inside. And we can turn the stroke to fill and use our convert anchor point tool just to add some curves to this. So it doesn't look so harsh. And if I press A, I can grab my direct selection tool and just pull pull these nodes down a little bit so it matches the neck area there. And again, using our pen tool, we can add some more line details of the jacket here. And then soon you should have something that looks a little bit like this. A few simple lines that just outline some of the detail on the clothing there. So by pressing shift, I can select multiple objects. So I can select all these lines and I can push the stroke up to seven, like earlier. So we've got that nice Julian Open style stroke and we're gonna to need to color the main background. So again, by selecting the main background, we can use our color picker and select that green that we sourced earlier on and we need to apply a stroke to this. So by clicking the object, we can add a black stroke and again, push this up to seven. And let's bring back our background and it's starting to look almost complete. And this brings us to the final part of the illustration. And this one's actually the most fiddliest and complicated one. This is the the highlights on the hair. So the last stage, if we look at our original image, we're just going to add some details to the hair, such as the background bits and the highlights. And if I zoom in closely, you can see that the highlights are a nice stroke, which has a nice point on the end, which looks quite nice. So I'm about to show you how to do this. So let's go back to our image. I'm going to come over to my menu and I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and on the pasteboard I'm going to draw a little shape. Let's zoom into this so we can see exactly what we're doing. And by drawing the shape it's applied a stroke. We don't want a stroke on this occasion so we're going to get rid of the stroke. So we've got ourselves a wide flat ellipse and by using the direct selection tool I can click and drag and just grab that end node and I'm going to use my arrow keys just to reposition this node so we have something that looks a little bit like a bullet. And by grabbing the shape, I just want to squeeze that up a little bit so it's a little bit more aerodynamic. So what we have here is what looks like a bullet. Excellent. So let's zoom out. I need to change the color of this bullet first. So I'm going to select the object and use my color picker. I'm going to select this dark brown here. Okay, so now we've got our bullet, which is dark brown. I'm going to select this object, and we're going to come to the brushes, and I'm going to select on the menu and select new brush. 
and then I'm going to click on Art Brush and click OK. And up comes the Properties window for this. And you've got to make sure that the direction is from left to right. So at the moment, it's set to the right direction. You might find that it's set from top to bottom. We must have it from left to right. And that's going to be great. Let's click OK to that. I'm going to zoom out so we can fully see the hair here. Excellent. And I'm going to click on the hair layer in the Layers panel. And I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this Highlights. OK, so making sure I'm on my highlights layer, I'm going to come over to my menu and select the paint brush. And then in my brushes, I'm going to make sure I've selected the new brush that I just made. And for an example, if I just draw a line, you can see what that brush will do. If I draw a straight line, you can see that it creates a stroke with a nice end point. So if I come over to my hair, I'm going to start to draw some highlights. Draw a curve there, and you can draw as many as you like with this. Just going to go ahead and draw some curves. And you should end up with something that looks a bit like this. What you'll notice that what you might get is you might get these tail offs here. And that's really disrupting the nice effect of our strokes. So if we press A and grab the direct selection tool, we can click on these strokes. And if we click on that end node and just press delete, we can get rid of them. And that'll tidy up our strokes real nice. Let's do that a couple more times. And there you go. Now, we need these to be a little bit thicker. So if I come over to my layers panel and just click on the lock feature of every layer apart from my highlights. When I use my selection tool, I can just grab all those highlights and just push the weight of the stroke up. I can toggle the weight of the stroke and that looks a lot better. Now to finish off, I'm going to add the details to the hair by using the pen tool. As you can see here, I've just added a little bit of detail here to the under the ears just to finish off the hair. And I've just added a stroke for a little spot of detail on the forehead. And that is how you create a portrait in the style of Julian Opie in Adobe Illustrator. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel now, as there will be lots more videos like this coming soon. And if you're interested, hop over to my website at tastytutes.com you can see more videos just like this there. And from there, you can follow me on Twitter, where I'll be talking about various creative topics and letting you know when the next creative video tutorial will be out. So, have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.